a local veteran made a big discovery. The military never gave him the victory medal it promised him. Well, WGN's Patrick Elwood introduces us to this proud American and his longtime wife, who is a Holocaust survivor. This is a story you will only see on Chicago's very own. The Americans who served in World War II have been called the greatest generation. Right there with them was a 17-year-old Chicago-born and raised young man by the name of Arnold Flipman, or Arnie as he goes. Only days removed from Sun High School in 1945, he enlisted. I wanted to finish high school, and I finished high school and then I joined the Navy. At 17? Yeah, 17. But when I saw what they did to our service, the airmen that they captured and they cut off their heads, it was horrible. But after boot camp at Great Lakes, he wasn't even deployed. I think, mainly, I think it was because they were already had the atomic bomb. After getting an honorable discharge from the Navy within a very short time, he was drafted into the Army. They didn't send me overseas, nothing. Uh, they sent me to Cookson Baker School. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and uh, I was a cook. These mess kits have stood the test of time from those days. But as the world and country adjusted to post-war life, Arnie would meet the love of his life. Oakton Manor, 1963. Edzia Spielberg, who survived the Holocaust as a young girl living in Poland. It was a nightmare. Taking refuge sometimes with strangers and always hiding her Jewish ancestry. I would wake up every morning. I would walk up to reality, oh my goodness. The Nazis are here. Will I live till tonight? In time, Edzia would emigrate here to the U.S., where she would meet Arnie. With tongue in cheek, she recalls those early days. He was very nice to me before we got married. <laughs> no, he's a nice guy. Lots of years, isn't it? Yeah. I can't even think about it. Together, these lovebirds have made a life with children and grandkids, too. That's me as a little kid. But only recently, while going through some of his things from his time in the service, it was discovered something was missing. I saw it on my papers, but I didn't pay any attention. And then Mark looked at the papers and I said, you know, it says we're supposed to get a victory medal. While it wouldn't be the worst thing ever if that promise wasn't fulfilled after all these years, if he didn't get that victory medal, but it would be A-OK -okay by Arnie if he did. I wasn't in any battles, I wasn't overseas, you know. But uh, when I joined, I was gung-ho, you know, I wanted to go. You were part of the effort. Yeah, oh yeah. And that would make his lovely bride, naturally, very happy too. I think it would be nice, yes, of course. Arnie mentioned Mark, that's his son. So what's next in the quest for Arnie's victory medal? Well, I'm going to send this story to his local congressman, Brad Schneider, as well as Illinois U.S. Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth to see if any of them can intervene on his behalf. We'll definitely keep you posted. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.